Hey guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today, I will be showing you on how to fix the fingerprint settings option when it has disappeared on your Android. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. So, this is my Android phone right here. The first thing that you want to go ahead and do is to restart your phone in order to ensure that there is no bug inside the software. And by restarting your phone, you will be able to reset your phone in its original form. So of course you want to go ahead and press the power button and once you're here you want to go ahead and click restart. And if that doesn't work, try to go ahead and shut down the entire phone, wait for a few minutes and turn it back on. And if that doesn't fix us the problem, we can now go ahead and proceed with the second step which is updating our Android phone. So you want to go ahead and go to your settings right here. And once you're here, you want to go ahead and scroll all the way down until you find system. And in most phones, this is where you will find system update. So I'll just go ahead and click system update right here. And once you're here, you want to go ahead and check for updates. Right now, I have the online updates and I have the local updates. I'm gonna go ahead and choose online update here. And it will go ahead and say your system is up to date if there are no current pending updates available in this phone. And once that's done, we want to go ahead and reset the settings of our phone. Once again, you head over to the settings of your phone. And once you're here, just go ahead and click App Management. And once you're here, just go ahead and click App List. And you want to go ahead and search for settings. Click Storage and Cache. And right here, you want to go ahead and clear the storage and also clear the cache. And if your problem still persists, the only thing left to do now before taking it to your technician is to go ahead and factory reset the phone. This will ensure that it will reset the phone in its factory settings. So to do that, you want to go ahead and scroll all the way back. And once you're here, just go ahead and scroll all the way down. And once again, you will find system. Once you're in system, you will go ahead and see reset phone. And right here, you want to go ahead and go for erase all data. Now take note, this will erase all of your data including your photos, contacts, and accounts. So make sure to back everything up. And if this problem still persists, that might be a hardware problem where you need to go ahead and take it into your technician. So guys, thank you for watching and if this video has been helpful for you, please consider by liking and subscribing. I'll make sure to see you again next time. Thank you.